Today on Alaskan Ballistics, 7mm Remington Magnum, Federal Terminal Ascent Ammunition, 155 grain. Let's see how it does. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. Thank you for stopping by. So today, over the chronograph, we were running this Federal 155 grain terminal ascent 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. Just beautiful blue tipped kind of translucent blue tip there. It's kind of cool looking. Box says it's going. 3,000 feet per second, 155 grain. They advertise it to keep its weight, all right, at short range, but still open up and expand at long range. So that's pretty good, and it is a lead core bullet. So usually lead core bullets, a lot of times they will shred their jacket. So you can see what the bullet looks like there. Again, 3,000 at the muzzle. We do have a 26-inch barrel, so we might get a little bit more than 3,000. We'll see. Didn't shoot a whole lot of these because I was actually highly impressed with them and I wanted to save some for hunting. I bought this ammunition right as all the hunting ammunition started to go away in Anchorage and you can't find any anymore. And basically, this was the only box I bought and I should have bought two of them or five. But they had it in 6.5 Creedmoor too. I didn't get it in 6.5 Creedmoor. Should have got that too because I was highly impressed with the bullet for a lead bullet. Let's go out to the range and shoot it. Here we are, seven millimeter rim mag, Federal Terminal Ascent, 155 grain. Here we go. Thirty-one fifty-nine. The box says three thousand. I have a little bit longer barrel. I have a twenty-six inch barrel. Thirty-one ninety-four. Chronograph is still sliding around with that ratchet strap on it. <laughs> Just a hair. Not like it would before, though. Thirty-one seventy-three. So within 40 feet per second or so, that's actually good for factory ammo. It's better than some of my hand loads sometimes. So yeah, yeah, that's actually not bad. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm <laughs> impressed so far with this ammo. So here is our add up slide. Thank you for watching this far. You can pause it and read the numbers if you want to read them. Good standard deviation, a ton of foot pounds of energy going so fast for such a medium to heavy on the heavier side of medium for 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. We'll also do some accuracy, show some accuracy that I got. It was in negative 2 degrees when I got it. Today's shout out goes to Terribly Tactical. Terribly Tactical. Go over to his channel and subscribe. Great information. Highly recommend you go over to his channel and subscribe. He's got great videos. Everything from range reports to gun reviews to ammo shortage videos as you can see there. Go check him out. Awesome video. Awesome channel. Link in the description. So here we are. We are setting up our 7 mag test. And we are doing... I cut these ribs in half. They've been shot with 300 blackout and 223, but the 223 hardly did any damage. And then the pork loin the same way. I cut it right through the uh, 300 blackout hole, actually. So most of that should be pretty intact. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 water jugs and a board to stop it. Federal Ascent, 155 grain, let's see how they do. 155 grain Federal Terminal Ascent here. And we got at 50, 60 yards, the two pork ribs, or a pork rib cut in half for it, two, two slices of pork loin, and some water jugs to catch it. Let's see how we do. Well, I might have had my GoPro too close. <laughs> Let's see how if we caught it or not. All right. 
cut here. We got a carnage and mass destruction everywhere. Pork loin right here, ribs on the table, ribs right there, pork loin over there, bottles ripped everywhere. And we had six bottles, and it looks like we have an entry hole into the fifth bottle here and no exit hole and I think I see the bullet down there look at that oh wow not bad they said they're supposed to keep their weight at close range I think it probably kept a lot of amount of weight we'll get home and weigh it and expand it look how far peeled back it is but stay together you don't see that very well, much. That is a puncher through. I like that bullet. I really do. You know, as opposed to ELDX, which is a glorified VMAX, you know, that just flies apart. In that same, if you just put ELDX DX against four water jugs, it'll fly apart. You know, break a fragment everywhere. But that'll hold together. It'll cut. It'll chop. It's uh, drop a lot of energy. As you saw, it exploded everywhere. Threw my GoPro over. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Let's take this bullet back home, weigh it, and get it, uh, get it weighed and everything, and measure it. So I thought I put this bullet in my pocket right here, as you can see, but I couldn't find it. It's lost. So I'm reshooting the 7mm mag terminal ascent. We've got two pieces of ribs, some leftover pork shoulder we were able to salvage from the 270 pork shoulder that we did 30 out 6 versus 270. This is Chook's leftover watermelon from his 5.7. He actually hit kind of low right in here. So there's a good chunk of watermelon still there. Most redneck science thing I've done yet. Not even scientific, I know. We got two half gallon or quart size milk jug containers full of water. We have a soda bottle and we have four water jugs behind that. And this is the terminal ascent part two, take two. <laughs> the first bullet was great, but we lost it like an idiot. So there we go. Here we are, Federal Premium, 155 grain, terminal ascent, 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. This is take two, because I lost the bullet from take one like an idiot. So I've got 13 rounds of this left. I'm hoping to keep at least 10 more rounds for bear season, because I like this bullet from what I saw in take one and what you guys saw in take one. We'll try to capture the bullet and not lose the bullet this time. Here we go. I think it happened last time my GoPro fell over. Barely hit that, it pulled to the left a little bit, pulled to the right. It went through the middle, destroyed that. Looks like it lost a chunk of its lead there. That was actually nowhere near as cool as the test we got last time. But oh well, this is the bullet we got to measure. I, w I wish I hadn't lost that bullet last time. Still a really nice bullet for all lead bullet, expanded. You know, we got a chunk, that's okay. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe this test was just too much for it. It's actually colder last time, so. All right, tell me what you guys think. We'll go back to the house and weigh this one. Sorry about the last bullet. Okay, let's measure this bullet, weigh it real quick and measure it. 155 grains, 126.3. That is not bad for as much of its petals and its shed. Not bad at all. Man, I really wish I had that other bullet. I didn't lose it like an idiot. So at its widest point of expansion, 0.858. That's awesome, that's like, Four times expansion almost. 0. 0.481. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me know what you think. Some final thoughts and then we'll be done with the video. Thanks for watching this far. So here is the target. I shot these at 100 yards. 1.194 inches. Not too shabby for factory ammo out of this rifle. It's about the same I get with the Barntel RX factory loads. And let's see. You want to go center hole to center hole, right at 
1.0025. So there we go. Not terrible. Two inches high off my zero. Can't really complain about that. It was also negative two degrees when I shot this day. So my hands are freezing pretty good. All right. Just some final thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Pretty impressed with this bullet, this ammunition. I've got 11 of them left. I'm considering bear hunting, black bear hunting with the 11 that are left. It's an excellent bullet. You can see right there, that's after the deflection. Really sorry I lost that first bullet. That first bullet was like a picture bullet, perfect bullet. Like, just awesome. Like, you couldn't get that better. Maybe it fell out in my truck or out of my pocket in my truck or in my car or, you know, something. Hopefully, we'll get to look at that later. So, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. God bless. Take care. We're on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, Subscribestar, MeWe, The Jump. Check us out all those places. If you need to message me, message me one of those places. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.